Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to make my famous meatloaf. I've already got all my ingredients set out here ready to go. I'm going to show you what I got to work with and then I'm going to show you how I make it. I've already got my oven preheated to 350. Got that ready to go. Now let me show you what I got. I got me a bowl, a one cup measuring cup, two eggs, this is my ground beef I had thawed out from my freezer. It's exactly two pounds of ground beef. I got some ketchup here. Some KC Masterpiece barbecue sauce. A box of chicken flavored stuffing mix, which is stovetop stuffing. And a small onion chopped up and a pair of scissors just to open my stuffing mix with. So that is everything I'm going to be working with. So let me show you how I put together my meatloaf. First, I'm going to dump all of my two pounds of meat into my bowl. You can use ground chuck, you know, whatever kind of meat you want to use so you don't have as much grease. First thing I've done here is cut open my stuffing mix. I'm going to pour it into the meat. Look at all that seasoning. That right there makes the meatloaf so good. I'm going to go ahead and add two eggs. And that is um, two large eggs. I'm going to go ahead and put in my onions. This is a small onion because you don't want too much onion in your meatloaf. So just throw that in. Then I need a half a cup of mixture to go into my meatloaf. So I split it up. I split a half a cup between barbecue and ketchup. like that. Get me a spoon. Just go stir that ketchup and that barbecue together. You don't have to do that. You could just throw it in like that. But see, that's about a half a cup. That That's what goes in your mixture. Alright. Pour in the barbecue. that barbecue really adds good flavor to it so that's pretty much all we need right now I will have to do another half a cup of ketchup and barbecue for my glaze to go on top but I'll do that in a minute I'm fixing to get in here with my hands y'all you don't want to overwork your meatloaf because it will make it tough so just you know lightly mix all of your ingredients together like so. This thing smells so good. That stove top and that barbecue <laughs> smells really good already. That stove top. Ever since I started making meatloaf with stove top stuff and my husband is like, this is the best meatloaf you have ever made. There we go. Get it all mixed together. Make sure I ain't got no dry stove top anywhere. There we go. Now I got all my meat mixed together. I'll be right back. I'm going to get me a pan and wash my hands. I'll be right back. Okay, I forgot to get my salt and my garlic out. I do put a little salt. I'm just going to shake it in there. I put about a teaspoon of salt in it and I put just a little bit of garlic. About a half teaspoon of garlic. And that is pretty much it. Now I got to mix that in since I forgot to do it while I go. Mix that salt and that garlic up. Okay. 
Now all I got to do, you see how simple that was. Now all I got to do is put it into my pan here. This is just a glass pan. It's like a 9 by 13 inch size. It fits this two pounds of meatloaf good. And I just mash it all out. Try to get it kind of level and even. That way all the meat cooks up about the same. There we go. It looks so good already. Then I just kind of go around the edges and make me a little indent so if I have any grease I can pour it all. So that's my meatloaf. It's pretty. See how pretty it is? Just looking at it like this. It ain't even cooked yet. Really pretty. So let me grab a paper towel. Wipe off my hand a little. Now all I gotta do is grab my little spoon. Now I got to make another half mixture like I did a while ago for the glaze on the top of my meatloaf. Now just mix here together. about a half a cup so if you was to mix it all together at one time it would be one whole cup and then you would just half put half in your meat and then half as glaze on top so then I'm just gonna spread it around on here just like that mm-hmm this thing smells so good. I'll just kind of let it run all down the sides. Mm -hmm. My husband don't know I'm making this. He'll he'll love me when he gets home because <laughs> he loves this meatloaf. And just spread out your sauce all over your meatloaf like that. Don't that look good? And it is ready to go in the oven, y'all. And it's, it's the easiest meatloaf, and it turns out so good. There we go. So that's pretty much it. Don't that look good? Nice size meatloaf. That you could eat off of for a couple days. Have you some sandwiches the next day. <laughs> so now I'm going to just pop this in the oven. You let it cook. This is two pounds worth of meatloaf now. Let it cook for one hour at 350. I'm going to pop it in the oven and I will let you see what it looks like when I pull it out. Okay guys, I just took this thing out of the oven. I've been letting it sit here and cool off for about 10 minutes. Doesn't that look good? I drained off my grease. Doesn't that look good? So that is my meat life guys. It's really simple, really yummy. I'm fixing to cut into it and I will show you the inside. Now I would like to say that I don't put any kind of bell peppers in mine because me and my husband either one like bell peppers in our meatloaf. But you could add, you know, any other ingredients you like in it. But definitely make sure you use that stovetop stuffing because that really makes it yummy. Okay guys, I took a piece of my meatloaf here and put it on the plate and it turned out really nice. A little bit of that macro action going on. This thing going to be good. So I hope y'all enjoyed seeing my video of how I make my meatloaf. Y'all give it a try. It's really yummy. I like up this video if you liked it. Leave me some comments below and subscribe to me if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.